Hola, soy Christopher Go. Estoy aquí en Madrid con Azul City. Now let's go to each of the planet. Now, as I said before, finding the sweet spot, there's no fixed formula on everything. You know, each object, each planet has different settings. Now, let's go to Jupiter. What guide do I use in setting the exposure time and gain? The guide that I use is histogram. Now, let's go to Jupiter. Now, in Jupiter, the histogram level that I use is 80 to 90 percent. Basically, that's how far your histogram should be. In, in, in fire capture, you will see it here in fire capture uh, under noise, uh, under, uh, there's, there's a percentage here above the noise. And this is basically how much the histogram is. In this case, I'm using 89%. Now, why do I use high histogram? Because if you use low histogram, you get what we astron amateur astronomers call, or applied learning images call, onion peel effect. So the edges of the planet will have that layered defect. Now, if you use high histogram, you won't have this problem, this onion peel problem, or the onion problem. Now, be mindful of the integration time, because one problem with Jupiter, it rotates very fast, once every 10 hours. So depending on your telescope, example, or focal length, if you're using a C8 or an 8-inch mid cassette grain, limit your time to one minute. If you're using a bigger telescope like the C14, I'm using 30 seconds. Now, don't worry because with, uh, uh, with uh, derotation, you can actually capture more and basically uh, spend more time in processing later on than uh, having a longer single exposure time. Now, one thing about Jupiter, it has bright moons, so use the moons to focus when you're imaging Jupiter, I would recommend that you use the methane band filter because it has very high scientific value. Now, this filter shows the high altitude clouds of Jupiter. Now, uh, one problem with this methane band is it's a very narrow band filter, so the images are very dim. You need to use binning in, in the binning option of fire capture to basically get a meaningful image. In fact, when you look at the image, it's going to be very grainy. You're going to use long exposure time. Because of the you're using binning, you can use actually longer capture times. In my case with the C14, I capture up to two minutes. Now again, because we, you, you're using long exposure time and very high gain, you need to use dark frames. Now to use dark frames, I would capture five frames and basically stack these frames and use it to that dark subtract when you process the methane band. Next, Saturn. Now one problem with Saturn, it's unlike Jupiter, which is very bright, it's very low surface brightness. You need, if you want a very nice image of Saturn like what I have here, you need to uh, time to capture to get a good image of Saturn, you really need to use the rotation. I spend about up to close to one hour, 50 to one, 50 minutes to one hour for one image of Saturn to get an image like this. Now, why is this image so important? If you look at this image, you will see a lot of storms in this image, which are very low contrast that you cannot capture if you're just using a few sets of images. Because of the low surface brightness of Saturn, you need to use very high gain and also one problem with Saturn, its blue is very insensitive. You may have to use a different frame rate for the blue compared to the red and green. Now, again, you're going to use about 80 to 90 percent for the histogram level for Saturn. So this is if you want to get the best image of Saturn to guide you with the gain and exposure time, use 80 to 90 percent of the histogram level. Now we go to Mars. Mars is actually the easiest planet to capture because it's very high surface brightness and on certain years it is huge. So uh, like this year, 2018, we're going to have a close opposition of Mars, so Mars will be pretty big this year. Now, 
to capture Mars, you need to uh, have an 80 to 90 percent gain on the red and green, and basically 70 percent for the blue. Now, make sure that when you capture the blue, that you don't have any surface details, because if you have your blue filter has surface details, it might be that your blue might have some IR pass. Because normally when you're capturing Mars with blue, you should see only clouds. Now one thing nice about Mars is unlike Jupiter and Saturn, it rotates very slowly, basically similar to Earth, 24 hours per rotation. So you can capture up to four minutes. Now make sure that your, uh, uh, your, uh, your capture, when you, uh, your filters that you use have UV IR block or else the, you will have difficulty in capturing the cloud features of uh, Mars. Now finally, uh, I, would, I would recommend when you capture, you capture a lot of data. Because uh, with your rotation, especially when you're seeing is not good, when your transparency is not good, this is the only thing that will save your data, capturing a lot. When seeing is good, I capture three to four images of Jupiter and Mars. If imaging is good for Saturn, I capture up to 15 RGB sets. If seeing is bad, you know, for Jupiter and Mars, you can capture up to 10 sets of RGB or 15, depending on your condition. And basically, do image recovery after, after you derotate.